So today I'm doing my how to contour and highlight and add a little bit of blush. The blush was last minute, but um, I'm doing this video because it was highly requested and I thought I would just sit down on a, oh my gosh, I don't even know my days. What day is it? Tuesday? No. It's like Thursday. Oh my gosh, tomorrow's Friday. Okay, tomorrow's Friday. So Thursday afternoon, I thought I'd sit down and just film this uh, tutorial for you guys because I think I'm going to be gone next week and I really want to get a video in for you guys. So um, I am going to have all of the dupes to the higher end products and all of the product information is going to be on my blog and I'm also going to post links if I find them online to the products, images, all that good stuff. It's also going to be on Dulce Candy. Dot com. Before I get started, because I know I'm going to get questions asked, this uh, earring or the earrings are from um, Forever 21 and I just recently got them. I thought they were so adorable because they're like so glitzy and I, I love them. And this top that I'm wearing is from my online store, Dulce Candy XO, and it's just a leather or faux leather peplum. It has uh, a different fabric in the back which makes it a lot more um, comfortable and it was one of our hot sellers so I really really love this blouse and then this ring is a really old ring that I have from Forever 21 then my wedding ring and my wedding band it's backwards and my little band-aid because that's what I wear I wear a band-aid so you don't see the ugly finger first thing that I'm gonna do is jump right into my concealer and I already have my foundation done I have my Neutrogena shine control uh, drugstore foundation here and I applied one coat and I just buffed it in with a stippling brush from Sigma. So the concealer I'm using today is the Revlon Color Stay, and I actually just hauled this in my last drugstore beauty haul and I also have pictures up on my blog as far as like what the concealer number is. And it's a number three light medium and what I do is just take it right out of the tube and this is fairly light so as you can see, you can definitely see it here. Um, I like to just apply this right underneath where I have dark circles and I also like to bring it down the bridge of my nose like that and I also like to just kind of draw a few lines like a fan kind of expanding in the middle of your beginning in the middle of your eyebrows and then just kind of flickering up like this um, and then also I like to bring this one down a little bit so I'm just going to make a few dots here because I don't want to dramatically do it that different. Um, and I'm not going to do it around my mouth area. So next time you see my beauty blender and of course I have it damp just because I don't want it, you never want to use it dry because it's going to absorb all of the product right into the sponge and you're not going to have any product on your face. So what I'm going to do is just start by patting it. You can kind of bounce it on your face like this. And I like using the pointy side of the uh, beauty blender. And um, I basically just pat it down because I don't want to move the concealer around. You don't want concealer all the way up in your temples and in your cheeks or anything like that. So you definitely always just want to pat it down. You can use the beauty blender. You can use your uh, ring finger. And a good alternative to the Beauty Blender is Sonia Kashuk for Target uh, blending sponge, which is really affordable. And I'll have that on my blog as well. I just didn't put it on my table and I don't want to get up. <laughs> but I'll take a picture from my blog. I'll do the work after. All right, so I like to extend it all the way out like that. And then, of course, blend the center part. And you can see the only thing I'm doing is pouncing the Beauty Blender. All right, so there, I pounced it all over my face. All right, so I'm just gonna take whatever's left and put it on my lips because I have a lot of redness because I have really chapped lips um, from the winter. And I've been getting bloody noses like crazy. And this, I've never had a bloody nose before until just like two days ago. Now that I'm done with my concealer, I am going to set it with a luxurious banana powder from Ben Knight, and I actually bought the big little tub. They have a bigger one as well, but I was like, first I want to try it out how I like it, and I am like obsessed with it. So I am going to use it. It's kind of like a yellow tone powder. They also have like a pink one, especially if you're fair. It's going to look amazing on you, but um, I'm just going to take a little bit of this. This one is the Airspun Loose Face Powder, and you can definitely find this at a drugstore. 
that's where I purchased mine. They have a lot of different colors for airspun if you want to go like the more affordable route, but still like a good deal. And then what I like to do is take a small brush and I typically like to take something like this one here or a blending brush uh, for the crease. This is just an angled brush. I've had it for a while. It doesn't even have a name. Um, I don't know where I got Oh, I think I got it on eBay like when I first started doing YouTube videos. But um, I like to pick it up and then just kind of buff it into the lid so it gets all over the bristles. And then I like to start by setting my concealer. And I'm just gonna bring it up. You can also take this moment to do your nose. And after that, I am going to take a bigger powder brush just to set everything else. And this one is just my Sephora Pro uh, 59 powder brush. And I'm just going to take whatever's on the lid and then just swirl it onto the brush. Well, swirl the brush onto the lid. And then I'm just going to drag this all over my face, especially my forehead. I don't want anything shiny. And you want to make sure you take your time and then you buff in the powder into your face because sometimes if you don't do it properly and then you apply your bronzer, even if it's powder afterwards, it's going to look very streaky and that can happen to your bronzer, your blush. So you want to make sure you really buff it in. All right, that looks about right. Now I want to add some depth and I want to contour and I want to add color to my face. So you can see right now it really doesn't have any color. And I like using my Bobbi Brown, where are you? Oh, here you are, it was missing. My Bobbi Brown Golden Light Powder and it's a matte bronzer. It's so beautiful, it's a light brown, but you can definitely build it up. Then I have a dupe to it, which is way more affordable. This is from NYC and this is called Sunny. And I'm also going to post a lot more affordable alternatives in my blog, dulcecandy.com, if you wanna check that out. And yeah, so, so what I'm gonna do is I have two brushes that I have uh, that I love to use for contouring. One of them is from MAC, which is a new brush, and this is the 163. And you can see it looks way different than any other brush that I've had in my collection. And it's really dense, and it's a flat top brush, and it's just awesome. You can just really get in there and contour. Um, and then the other one that I like is my Sephora um, Pro Brush number 50, oh, I'm sorry, 73, which is this one here, because it's tapered and it just really allows me to get in there and contour even around my nose and stuff. So um, I'll set this one to the side and I'll post it on my blog as well, but I want, I'm gonna take my 73 from Sephora and I basically just tap it twice. And then I'm going to start by bringing color. I like to do kind of like a C shape and I don't like to bring it too low because I don't want product like all over my face and I tend to do that so I have to like stop myself because I really want to go BAM but you have to go like like this. Now if you're having a hard time figuring out where to place your bronzer you just simply suck your cheeks in this and then wherever you see the hollow parts of your cheeks that's where you want the bronzer to go because that's where the shadow is going to be and I like to bring it all the way up to my temples kind of like to the highest part of, uh, or the highest peak of my eyebrow. Stopping there and then just bringing it in, kind of making like a C shape. And there you have one side of the face and you can definitely see the difference. And I might go ahead and add a little bit more just to deepen it up here. But I'm gonna do the same. All right, so there I have the basic color here. Today I'm not gonna drag it all the way to the top, but I usually like to drag it to the top. So today I'm just gonna keep it here. That looks really nice as well. And I'm actually gonna take my 163 now and just dip it in once like this to get some product. And I'm gonna concentrate this right here. And then what I like to do with this brush is just kind of like swiggle it like this. 
Now what I'm doing next is taking this large eyeshadow brush, as you can see, this one is from Sigma, and I just took a little bit of powder uh, from my Golden Light from Bobbi Brown. And then what I'm gonna do is I love to contour my nose, just to make it appear a little bit slimmer, especially here. If you have a wider nose, this is really great to do as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just kinda bring it, trying to go towards the high part, the highest part of my nose, if you go to the side like that and then you just kind of bring it you're creating shadows as if your nose was a little thinner as if your nose was thinner there we have it so now I am basically done with my concealer and my bronzer now the last thing that I do is add my highlight this one is a soft and gentle. This is like my number one favorite, and I was seriously looking for my collection through my collection for something similar. I couldn't find a dupe to the soft and gentle guys, but I did find an alternative and a really great bronzer, as, uh, highlighter as well. And this is um, Hermosa Rose. It's a bronze. It's a highlighting. I keep trying to call it a bronzer. It's a highlighting powder from Milani. You can find it at the drugstore. So it's a really, really. It, it just shimmers beautifully, and it has three sets of different shades in here for highlight. You have like pink and like a darker brown and then like the shimmer, the nude one. And it just looks really, really pretty and then it's imprinted with roses, so it's, it's gorgeous. So anyways, I'm gonna take my favorite one, which is Soft and Gentle. I'm gonna take a small contouring brush from Sigma and I like to just tap it and I'm gonna add this as far, like the highest you can go is basically here. I just drag it up. And then you can also bring some right down the bridge of your nose. And again, if you have this area where it's a little bit bigger or too round and you don't like it that way, don't put any highlight. Just put the highlight kind of like up here. And then you can add some to the cupid's bow of your lip. Like that and that's basically it. Right, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of lipstick and this is my uh, pink pop. It's one of the new lipsticks I also hauled in my last video and blog post and oh my gosh look how pigmented. Bam. It's gorgeous. I'm just gonna tone this pinkness down just because it doesn't really go with my shirt. And this is, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, this is Orgasm by NARS. There we have my completely finished contouring and highlighting and a little bit of blush uh, tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget you can check out my blog to see more uh, pictures of all the items and more. Actually, I'm also going to post all the links if I can find them online. All the links to the products so you can purchase them online if you find them or if I find them for you first. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And let me know how you guys like this little technique that I use and I will talk to you later. Bye!